Uh, but first, uh, let's uh, talk about MPs' expenses. It was back in 2009, of course, when the massive expenses scandal uh, exploded onto the scene, shocked the nation but with MPs claiming for this, that and the other, claiming 20p uh, for packets of drawing pins, for uh, somebody claiming for a duck house or a duck island or whatever it was in in the moat of their castle do you remember all of that it stunned us that our mps uh, were uh, claiming so much money from the exchequer there was uh, many career quite a few political careers ended because of it and you would have thought uh, that 11 12 years on as we are now uh, that MPs may have learnt their lessons however they it appears they have not only a couple of weeks ago uh, the Labour deputy leader Angela Rayner uh, was if you like caught claiming for Apple AirPods, uh, various other politicians have been claiming for laptops. Uh, they will not stop putting their nose in the trough, it appears. And now a Tory MP has been caught claiming one pound for parking on a visit to a food bank. Uh, so uh, that was an extremely bad look as well. How much longer can this go on? Uh, let's uh, talk to uh, the director of the uh, Sir Bernard Crick Centre for the Public Understanding of Politics at the Sh University of Sheffield. That's a hell of a title. Uh, Matthew Flan Flinders. Uh, good morning, Matthew. Good morning, Kevin. Uh, now, uh, public understanding of politics, I think what the public doesn't understand is why uh, a Tory MP, or oh, it doesn't matter if he's a Tory, an MP would go to visit a local food bank, a nice kind of public spirited thing for the local representative to do, and then claim one pound for parking when he did it. This comes on the back of uh, a few Labour MPs, particularly Angela Rayner, the deputy leader, being caught claiming for uh, 250 quids worth of Apple ear pods, eye air pods, I think they're called. Uh, lots of uh, MPs claiming for uh, laptops. Uh, it just does seem as if uh, 11 or 12 years after the massive MP scandal that our politicians have learned nothing. They've still got their noses in the trough claiming for this, that and the other. And it's a very bad look. What can be done about this continuing problem? Well, I think, first of all, we need to sort of strip out the reality from the media coverage of all of this. You started off talking about the MPs' expenses scandal. That was an absolute scandal. It ended over 200 careers. Some MPs ended up in prison. The system was fundamentally reformed with the creation of the Independent Parliamentary uh, Standards Authority, IPSA, that is now in charge of paying and regulating MPs' pay. Uh, you talk about AirPods and computers. Well, that is because there's been something called COVID happening. So Parliament has largely gone digital and online, and that has incurred extra costs. So the fact that MPs are listening in, using their AirPods, listening to Bates, doing what they do as their work, it's not surprising that they've demanded some extra facilities to do that. And that would have been carefully regulated by Ipsa. Yeah, but what do you think? Pound. What do you what, but what do you think that the public think about that? They do. They're not sit. The, the public are not sitting around going, "Oh well, there's a COVID crisis, so it's okay that MPs are allowed to claim ten thousand pounds worth of kit to uh, deck out their home offices." It, it's a terrible look. I mean, Angela Rayner uh, claimed uh, one thousand six hundred and nineteen pounds for an iPad Pro uh, with a ninety nine pound case. She and a one hundred and ninety nine pound keyboard. Uh, she claimed uh, £131 for a digital pencil, £70 for an office chair. Uh, you know, this is not uh, calculated to make the public go, oh, that's fair enough. It's a really yeah, bad look. Can't we get a better system than this? Well, look, it, the problem is you're focusing on the look. You're not focusing on what an MP actually yeah, Well, that's what it's does. all about. Politics is about no, optics. It's not. It no, is, I'm, it I'm is. I'm giving you a bit of talk radio here. What this is actually about, let's just get the wheat from the chaff. This is about what do you want your MPs to do? Do you want them to have I to want them to not this? claim for AirPods. That's what I want. So what do you want? Should we put them all in sackcloth and put them in a hole somewhere outside Rotherham? You know, you've got like, to buy their out. own AirPods. How about that? There are lots of people out there in the current COVID context that have had to have extra equipment to allow them to work from home. What you're actually talking about 
are people who run small businesses effectively with two or three staff in a very, very low trust, high blame environment, looking after 65,000 people on the salary of a secondary school teacher. Now, I'm not trying to get anybody to feel sorry for MPs because they've decided Good, to take we don't. the job. Good, because but we don't. We don't, but you might be a little bit more understanding about what some of these Understanding, are understanding. Angela Rayner claimed uh, 23 first-class rail tickets. OK, she represents her Manchester constituency. She has to get down to London and back. Why has it got to be first-class? Well, actually, that's a good question because most MPs are usually not allowed to travel first class. Actually, lots, what's really interesting, the bigger question here is that actually lots of MPs are now so scared of claiming any expenses. Good. The fear of how that will be represented, it's not good because what you're in danger of creating by this sort of quite shallow debate is a two-tier political system where the only people that go into politics or are those with their own family money who don't need the pay or expenses because they can do it anyway. And so all you'll get is a very narrow band of people going into politics and the people who really need to go into politics won't do it because they're too scared of people like you holding them up against the wall and just constantly pulling them down. What are we supposed to do then? Just sort of sit around and go, this is just fine. It really no, is the... not fine that they're claiming for iPad Pros, uh, £99 case, £199 keyboard, digital pencils, £70 office chairs. This is not fine, Matthew, at what, all. an office chair? You don't want an MP to have an office chair? Well, they can buy their own office chair like Why I have to. Why don't you just stand up? Stand up and get rid of the chair that you're sitting on. Huh? Stand up and get rid of the chair you're sitting on. How can you say you don't want an MP to buy an office chair? Well, I want it's them to buy it for ridiculous. themselves. Why don't they buy it themselves like the rest of us have? Did, to? Okay, the, you didn't buy the chair you're sitting on. Well, I, yeah, but it's not my office. Where's well, your job? Why don't you spend your own money on it? Who bought those headphones? Uh, I did, if you want to know. Uh, next next question. Receipts? Next question. No, and I, 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 did, I bought them no, and, no, I, didn't no, charge, and I didn't charge the company for them. Bought. These, but these MPs, uh, they've had, they've got their they've got their noses in the trough, and they've had their noses in the trough uh, before 2009. They have learned nothing from the MPs scandal, which, by the way, uh, destroyed the trust that the public have in uh, our body politic. There's only one thing destroying the trust. It's people like you. Oh, why? Why is that? Because you go on spouting all this stuff. You talked about the well, spouting all this stuff. It's a scandal. Yeah. It was a scandal. It, was it a is scandal, a but... scandal. It's an ongoing scandal. £10,000. They should never have been given 10000 quid of our money just because there's a COVID crisis. Everyone else has to struggle through, and yet MPs get everything paid for by us. They don't get everything paid for by well, us. Well, that looks like it. AirPods. Are you really it. saying, Matthew, that it's great that MPs are claiming for Apple AirPods? I'm saying that given that the whole well, What are you saying not... about it then? What, what do you think that Angela Rayner charges the Exchequer for Apple AirPods? You think that's fine, do you? I'm saying that in a COVID context, we need to give the politicians... So, never mind a COVID context. Not. Is it all right for an MP to claim 249 quid for Apple AirPods? Is it all yeah. right for them to charge the taxpayer for that? It is OK for an MP... No, to it, is it all right for them to do that? If it is within IPSA's regulations that have been voted for by well, law... Well, IPSA's regulations need to be changed, don't they, if this is oh, why happening? Don't, why don't we come back to you? Why don't we come back to how you started the introduction to this ridiculous skit? What's ridiculous about, about it? Well, you start off being saying that this was all about MPs buying birdhouses on expenses. Well, it's also about them buying AirPods on expenses. No, but that's not how you started it's, it. The, the new version of uh, uh, Duck Islands okay, is sorry. AirPods. Sorry, so basically what we've gone from is a, is a true massive scandal that cost hundreds of MPs and brought the British political system into absolute shame yeah. and that ended up with MPs being jailed. We've gone from that scale to the fact that you found out that somebody's bought some AirPods. And you're saying that they're basically... It's not. That's just that one example. Why is an MP charging <laughs> one pound? Why is an MP charging one pound for parking when he visits a food bank? Yeah, he or she is not charging one pound. What will have happened here is that somebody in the oh, office... Oh, you were there, where you know what happened, do you? You're, you're no, making you some assumptions either. here, Matthew. You're making some big assumptions. 
Yeah. You, you don't oh, know what happened. This MP, what we do know is he claimed one pound for uh, parking when he visited a food bank. That is not a good look. And do not it's assume, not do not assume you know what happened in that circumstance. Well, that's got to work two ways, surely, hasn't it? Do you know it was actually even paid out? Do you actually know the MP himself put the claim in or was it a member of staff? Well, if, it, well if, if it was a member of staff, he needs to upbraid that member of staff. He needs to stop claiming one pound parking. Well, that may well happen, but that's life. Accidents happen. Well, Why accidents are you so happen? So, oh, so they're accidentally claiming expenses. Well, they may well have put him for a pound. Do you really think any MP today is going to try to, given the media focus on their expenses, mm. are going to try to put him for this pound? I'll tell you what, Come Matthew. On. I'll tell you what, Matthew. I'll tell you what, Matthew. Uh, as long as uh, our MPs have lots of compliant citizens like you who have no problem with them claiming uh, 250 quid for Apple AirPods, they're going to be absolutely fine. What we need is lots and lots of unquestioning people like you to absolutely accept that everything MPs do in terms of their disgraceful expenses claim is absolutely fine. Good talking to you, Matthew. Thank you so much for your time. Matthew Flinders there, director of the Sir Bernard Crick Centre for the Public Understanding of Politics at the University of Sheffield.